Also, boah, warte. What's up? What's going on, Youngin? Oh, Robert, man, this is in the house. Hey, I was telling the Germans right now, we have 2,500 people in the middle of the night in Germany, still awake. And I was like, man, I don't know if Robert's going to ditch me or not, but you pulled through. And I'm here. Is this your office? No, I'm this is my home. This looks like a great house. God damn. You still in the same home? No, no, you know, Boston Lane. I'm out in the sticks. <laughs> How you doing? Let's see if the connection let's see if the connection holds up. You doing good? Hey, I didn't. How long did we didn't talk in like a long time? Yeah. And I apologize that I had to put I had to pull this string right here to get you in a live stream to talk to you. We didn't talk in a long time, but I I'm seeing you busy. The first question, what for the for the German fans they're asking, how does that work with the, the private coaching you're doing right now? Are you a coach with the Colts? Because you have Colts players there too, right? No, I'm 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 a uh, advisor, pass rush advisor for the for the Colts, but I also do my own training thing uh, along with my partner, uh, you know, Dan Dan Muir. We got our own little uh, position specific training, and so I kind of I do I do kind of do both deals. So, not a coach. I can't I couldn't do the coaching hours. So I tried that one year. It wasn't <laughs> why not? Why 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 couldn't you? How many? It's 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 you locked down, huh? No, oh, yeah. I, it's a couple nights I had to sleep in my office. I couldn't do that shit. No, I ain't doing the coaching stuff either. I ain't doing that shit. But to, I, I told, I explained. So maybe you can explain this to us because I explained the fans. You still have the most forced fumbles in NFL history, correct? Correct. But why? And you, and I know you always you, you you hate it. But why is this not an official stat? In, in the, <laughs> I need to, I need to get you triggered. Official stat. It's not, right? It is not. But but why? Because the forced fumble is an official stat in the game. Why is it not an official stat in the ranking like a quarterback sack? Well, sack fumbles, that, that means that's that's an extra stat you have to add on to the actual uh, set, uh, stat of quarterback sack. So that means if a guy racks up enough of those, that's kind of double the amount they have to pay this guy. So it really always amounts to the, the dollar sign. So it's a business decision they don't do that? Absolutely. Absolutely. I didn't, I didn't you know. Can't fumbles, but you can't hide sack fumbles. You just you simply can't do it. I didn't know that. I, I thought, I don't know, like, so how many? You have 53? Uh, 54. Don't don't 54, cheat. And you have 123 quarterback sacks? That's a shit oh. ton. It almost, almost like every other sack was a fucking fumble? <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, kind of stole a couple from me. A little snot nose punk coming in, trying to come in on my turf, man. <laughs> well, I, I explained it to him because the, the, the fan base is still so young, but shit, you, the, the, and you, you, you tell me the name how Dry Freen and you were called back in the day. What did you always say? Did you, did, the, the, the password you always say, like you have a hashtag you always use. Oh, 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 nine eight nine three. Bring the heat boulevard. Bring the heat boulevard. I love it. Do you hate quarter, do you hate quarterbacks? Right. Do you hate I, quarterbacks? Or are they good guys? They I can't stand quarterbacks, their feet stink and they soft. <laughs> Yeah, Robin, man, I missed you, man. We had yeah. some good times. I'll tell you, hey, people, Robin is you like one of the scariest dude. If you don't, if I, if you don't know you, you sit there, you, you always look serious. But if you let a person in and you let me in, right? You can, you can say that you let me in because then you gave me. You was good, man. You was all right with me. Mentorship. You were a good friend. You were a good mentor. I loved it because of you. I smoke cigars. Yeah. <laughs> so what you need? Hey, you need a hookup. You need some cigars out of Germany. So what? You need some Monte Cristo number two for out of Germany. Uh, yeah, you need to send me some. I don't have any more. As a, as a thank you that you take your time right now, I'm gonna send you a package. Oh, yeah. But uh, here question. <clears throat> so you you're kind of involved with the Colts, but who who are from the Colts guys who play right now? Who who are training with you? Like how like. I still, I still have questions like how like how does that work? Do, does do okay? Wait, do, 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 can you answer that? Are the players paying you or is the co the Colts paying you team, as a pass rush? The co the, the actual players they don't pay me anything. The team pays me. So that's a sweet deal now. Yeah, yeah, it's sweet, sweet deal. Because um, I'm labeled an independent contractor, so I'm able to do that. I'm even, I'm even able to work work with the guys during the time that they're not able to work with coaches. So it's it's a pretty sweet deal. But I work with uh, 
uh, notable guys is Danico Autry, number 96, and yep. 50, uh, 57, uh, Kamoko Toure. So these are guys that's pretty consistent with uh, working working out with me. Also, Taquan Lewis and Grover Stewart. Question for we had Steve, you know Steve John, right? Do you remember Steve John from the Minnesota Vikings? Um, we have yeah. another guy, Kasim Nabali. This is um, father-in-law who was here last year when we started. We had Cam John earlier in the, in the FaceTime because my friend Kasim, who's also in here, married the sister from Cam Jordan. So okay. we have the whole time they're like freaking out right now that we get the NFL ties in here. How look, you played 13 years or 14 years? 14 seasons total, 13 on the field. So how is your body feeling? Uh starting to feel better, but it, it still it still hurts every you no know, every now and then. Some mornings is are better than others. Isn't it like like shit I played only three years and and you play like god damn 14 years and I feel like right as soon as you retire, I feel like your body, like, re like the the tension releases, and then you get more pain, right? Yeah. Like it's, it's like it was your body just screams, "Look, man, I'm my shit hurts." <laughs> <laughs> so when you retire, it just your body kind of knows something just happened that is is good for me, the body. So, Are you, like, you look, still look fit on the videos you post on your on your gridiron uh, gang. Uh, the the you still look fit. No, nah, man, I got a nice little belly. I work hard for it, too. Hey, and you have to enjoy <laughs> life a little bit, too, you know? I'm with you. I'm with you. So here, I still, um, I, t I told you a story, and, and this is the, you know, the underdog story. This is still the best, and I would love for you because I know how motivating you were to me and other young guys, and I want to I wanna see if you can, get, you know, give the fans some fifth-round pick, undersized. How tall and uh, how uh, your playing weight um, was what? Six feet tall, and I played at 235 pounds. See, and you have 123 quarterback size. Crazy. At, and at first at, round, defensive end coming in after your 12th year, he's 6'3", 250 <laughs> pounds trying to take your spot. Who are you talking about? And who would be you? Who, who are you talking about? Hey, shit, but look, didn't work because you were badass. Didn't yeah. work. <laughs> didn't work. But look. It was good small time. School, Alabama, a and m and m so that's FCS. That's the second level for the Germans. Like you know, second league. I don't, you always have to kind of compare it to like soccer a little bit. Right. Uh, what the fuck is your? How was your mindset? How how do you how do you like look back and have that successful of a career? How has how is your mindset during this long period of time to be where you're at right now as a small school guy, undersized, fifth round pick? I was just kind of intent on earning my earning my seat at the table. Uh, when I when I say that, I mean earn respect. So it wasn't an accident that I was at the at the NFL level, despite my size, height, and all this stuff. It was because I earned the right to be there. So I use that every day, kind of use the chip on my shoulder of people telling me you can't do this, can't do that because of your size and your stature. Who is the best offensive lineman? I'm going like they're asking questions, shit, on this question. Who? Was the best offensive lineman you played against? Walter Jones, Seattle Seahawks, yeah. hands down. All right, all right, all right. So I'm, I'm going to go through a few questions here. Walter Jones, shit, that's a, that's a good, that's a good, uh, good player. Best career game. What is? Okay, wait. There's a lot of shit. There's a lot of games you had and a lot of memories and experiences. But for you, if if you write a book right now and they ask you or like do an interview, what is the most memorable? experience or game you have in your 14 freaking years in the you know, NFL. I thought about this the other day. I don't I don't know why it's but I will say the the fourth and two game, Colts versus Patriots. Yeah, we was I, I kind of got after it a little bit. So uh and what, we, what, what year was it? Tell, tell us a little bit about what the situation why you why did you get so hot in that game? <laughs> oh it had a couple sacks uh a pass deflection a couple uh chase down play and a couple tackles so it was it was. I felt like I was in. It's you know one of those games where you feel like you're in the zone, and that that was the one. I said I felt like I was in the zone, and then we for us to get the win, and that that game is kind of go down as one of the games in history, the fourth and two legendary fourth and two game. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's kind of tops for me. When uh, so they're asking what side did you play? It was it was always right. Dwight Freeney was the blind side defense, and you were the left defense end, and you never get you just never changed, right? It was always left and right. Yeah, for the most part, it was always left and right. 
So let me ask you that for my experience, uh, did you like to play four three D end or three five outside linebacker? <laughs> Ooh, that's a that's a that's a great one. I learned how to be a pass rusher in the four three, but I thrived as a pass rusher in the three four. How about that? You had your best year in the three four system. There nine you and a half sack. You were the first matches. You were the first with the Deacon Jones Award. I remember I was there. Yeah, right. the nineteen and a half quarterback sacks. That's the I remember from that year that was was a thirteen. It was thirteen, right? Yeah, thirteen. I remember the the, the greatest game I seen live on the sideline when you performed. There were a few good games, but when you took that Denver Broncos, Peyton Manning came home. Yeah. <laughs> when you when you when you hey. The, First of all, I never seen it how is a stadium at home can be so split. They were like, you know, like I remember you on the sideline. It was civil war. It was straight civil war up in there. Man. I was like, look, this is my house, damn it. He left it vacant and this is mine now. <laughs> so I really felt like that it was my night. So yeah, we, we came out with the win. Man, you did uh it, the strip sacks, man, right and left, changed the whole momentum. Mm -hmm. that, that, that was why um super uh super bowl let's talk um i i bring i, I bring a lot of like insights up right now well I remember you always talked about what happened uh super bowl against the saints <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to talk about that shit. was it 2009 that was 20 yeah 2009 but uh they won man we lost. <laughs> that's all i got let's talk about the 2006 super bowl all right, let's talk about. Let's talk about <laughs> tell, tell us, tell us, two thousand six Super Bowl. Where was that? Where did you guys win uh, it? Both, both of those games were in Miami. So, but it was a uh, that whole Super Bowl run, the playoff run. We had to exercise a whole lot of doubts and demons and stuff like that. They said we couldn't stop the run. We stopped the run. They said we couldn't play in the elements. We won the Super Bowl in the elements. They say Coach Dungy, uh, Peyton Manning, and uh, Bill Polian couldn't win the big game. We did it all in one walk, so that's what made it memorable. This, um, I'm asked, I'm seeing a question right now. You know the best. What does the Forrest Buckner bring to the Colts defensive line? Because you know, like it's 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 a high pay, but his stats, right, say something. But like his impact is a lot bigger than the stats show. Correct? I say it's a hundred million dollars well spent. He's a straight dog in the trenches, and so that's what that was something that we needed. And also the emergence of Grover Stewart. They we got two certified dogs in the, in, the, in the middle of the uh, D line, and that's really helping our whole defense right now. And J and Justin Houston ain't looking that bad either, right? I mean, they they chipped him out of Kansas City, but he has I feel like a fresh start the last years with the Colts, and he's performing well too, right? Right. Just he's I mean he's a he's a certified pass rusher, and then you also got the Nico Archery. Don't yeah, you you start sleeping on him, he'll make you pay just like he's been doing the last three weeks. Yeah, he had how many sacks he had? You, you posted something. He had two sacks last week. Uh, yeah, one last week and two the week before. So, yeah, three cool. sacks in two weeks. So, and I'm saying I'm calling my shot tonight. He gonna get another two or three tonight. All right. All yeah. Right. I don't care. Who, hey, who was the who was the best trash talker you played against? Did you had some offensive lineman who man, he was like Robert? Man, what are you talking about? Like, he talked trash to you all game, and you punished him. Was there a situation like that? Oh, uh, you know, it was Taylor Lewan, man. That, that was something. <laughs> that's, he, that's one of those guys. I just I don't think I ever like him. I might, We might just might throw hands on sight if I ever see him. Taylor Lewan, offensive tackle, left tackle for the Titans. He's injured yeah. right now, but yeah. dude, like, he, did, he does talk a lot of shit on the field. Right. Dude, that's crazy, man. All right. Hey, the game is starting up again. I know you're going to watch it. Mm -hmm. I would love to do this more often, man. Like, give you, hey, give you, hey. give you a. Bring me back on the show again, man. I, I'll I'll partake. We definitely because we're trying to get we're trying to get the connection because you know we you know people always think we 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 what we say sometimes, man. They, they just saying things, you know. But when when we bring in you guys, the OGs, you know, that talk about from the, I mean, you spent fourteen years in the NFL. There's a lot of stories you can tell us that you can entertain us too, you know. There's oh, yeah. a lot of great stuff, information, man. Yeah, we talk about your sack dance and we talk about. All the, the little funny stories you did as a wait, punk rookie. So I hey, got pretty stories for the people. Wait, wait, wait. Then let's talk about this really quick. If you still have time, I'll, I'll, I'll you tell me when you have to go. No, I mean, I, no, bring me on. Yeah. No. What did you say? You were injured 2014, man. You had your Achilles. You had a lot of setbacks. 
and uh, uh, you were still like a team leader. We wanted to honor you, and uh, and I did a, I did the sack against the, uh, Joe Flacco, and I did your sack there. So what did you do, man? You you did it with, with the left hand, and it was bad. <laughs> it was atrocious. But, but wait, I was still humble because you was thinking about the OG. Good, I was thinking about you, but like, man, <laughs> I, I need to remember correctly now because I'm a I'm a lefty. That's why I couldn't do with the right. But how like you were like. You were like kicking right and then like slapping, right? Oh, you still uh, that's there? Not it. That's not it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm here. Not... Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show I'm gonna show them uh, a highlight tape from you later on and uh, how you how you do it right. That was funny though, man. I was like, I coming off. I'm this young guy. I was like, man, Robert's gonna be so proud of me. The first thing you look at me, like, just just exactly the way you look at me right now. He's like, what the fuck <laughs> was that? Like. Why are you doing with the left? I was like, wait, what are you talking about? You what are you doing with the left foot and the left hand? I was like, does it matter? Didn't it look at least similar? Did people not understand what I was doing? Hey, it was funny. Mm -hmm. Man, we had some. There's a, there's a lot of a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of funny things. I miss it. Do you still? Okay, what do you miss the most? Still from from your NFA times, you know? Is it? Uh, all off the top is the uh, the locker room camaraderie. Just you miss the locker room, man. Laughing and joking with your, with your friends, players, and all that stuff. But uh, I do not miss foot playing football at all, at all. But um, it's, it's it's funny. It's funny that you say that. It's like this, this is what I miss the most too. Just like when we were like sitting somewhere at a at a at a table, man. You, Corey. Ricky. I, I mean, all these three years, there were always funny guys there, and and. It's, it's a lot of funny stuff. A lot of funny stuff. I miss that the most too. I'll be honest. Oh, yeah. Great times, man. It's great times, dude. Then I, I hope you enjoyed it. They, they, they like it a lot. You can't see that thing on your phone, but like we have a chat going on, and the, the people, they, they, they thank you that you took your time to talk to the German people, man. That's amazing. Oh, I had a, had a good time, man. Thanks for having me on, bro. Hey, and uh, let's talk. And I would love to get you back on here. I love yeah, it. You better not forget my cigars, neither. I, I will not forget it. Uh, <laughs> I promise you. I'm telling you, the people are the, you know, the the witnesses right now. I will send you a stuff, and then you send me a picture. That way, they know I sent it to you as well. Hey, absolutely. Robert, appreciate it, my man. I'll talk to you soon. One love. Bye.